channel. I'm Keith the Trucker, and I'm gonna show you how you can buy a semi truck for a little or no money, or if it's your first semi truck and you just want to buy a cash truck, or if even you're just looking to buy a cash truck. I'm a, uh, I got a couple websites here that I can show you where you can go do that, and also I uh, got a couple websites where if you want to do a lease or anything like that, uh, you might want to look into it, and then we'll just go from there. So. I already got everything pulled up, the couple websites. Now, I could do some more of these in the future. It's just a couple websites that I've kind of been exploring. A couple of the places I actually called, and then some of the other ones I didn't, but I, I still put them on here. So, first one up is LRM Leasing. They're based out of Florida and Texas, uh, Papano Beach, and I think Rome, Texas, somewhere, somewhere near the Dallas area. So this is basically a leasing program, uh, and to the best of my knowledge, I think it's no no credit check or nothing like that, but there is a slight down payment, I believe. Uh, if you know anything about that, you could drop it in the comments, but I do believe there's a slight down payment. This is some of the available units. They got some 2015s on there, automatics. They got some 2015 manuals. Uh, not a lot of manuals on there. Mostly the manuals that I found is... Uh, in that section that says 2015 manuals. They got some 2017 autos, some more 2017 autos. The uh, the manuals look like it's mid-roof, and then the autos, the autos look like uh, double bunk, so. And then they got some 2018 autos, mid-roof, some more 2017 double bunks. So if we click on it, Let's just click on this one because it's the first one up there. So we'll click on this and just kind of see where it takes us. If you enjoy these type of videos, you know, just go ahead and drop a like or something like that. Let me know what type of content you like so I could produce more of it. All right, so you got the 2018 Cascadia multiple units available. It says LRM Leasing Company provides the opportunity for owner Wait provides the opportunity for independent truck drivers to own their own vehicle through lease to own programs. LRM Leasing has offered no credit check lease purchase options on commercial vehicles since 1980. So it's no no credit check, but like I said, I think I do believe there's a small down payment involved. So the miles on, on this particular units range anywhere from 520 to 530. Uh, which is pretty good because I got when I got my truck, uh, which the place where I got my truck is actually on this list too. Uh, but I leased my truck through a company when I first got it or whatnot, and then I uh, paid on it for two years and did a buyout at the end. So when I got my truck, I, I believe it was already about 640k uh, on the miles when I got it. So for this one, the only be at about 525 30 you're doing pretty good which anywhere between five six hundred thousand somewhere in there you're doing you're doing okay so to start off with for a first truck it's not that bad if you can find better than that then always you know try and find a better option for you but if you can't find better than that anywhere between five six hundred thousand somewhere in there you're still doing okay Alright, so back with the 2018 models. Uh, it's got one fuel tank on it. It's D13, which is pretty pretty good engine. I got D13. I don't usually have problems out the engine, but I got a manual. Uh, transmission usually pretty good too. I don't know how it is with the autos, but D13 engine overall for me so far, uh, my engine's been pretty good. I replaced the water pump and stuff like that, but that's just routine maintenance, but overall my engine seems to hold up. So uh, I mean can't really go wrong with it. Let's go back and check on uh check on the manuals. But what I will say is some of these on some of these trucks I'm noticing that there's only one fuel tank. So I don't know if, if you want to ride with one fuel tank or not. If it was me, I wouldn't really ride with one fuel tank. I would I would opt for the two uh fuel tanks for the simple fact you get better fuel economy with two tanks versus one because with two tanks 
you'll fill up less often than you would with one tank. So this one, 2015 Cascadia, multiple units available. This one's out of uh, out of Dallas area. So you got uh, DD-15, two tanks, two in a gallon, so 100 gallons each. Uh, autos on this one. Eat fuller 10 speed so they got all I don't know yeah they got it's got autos and manuals on on this one so eating eating fuller 10 speed which what I got I got 10 speed myself so on the mileage on these roughly about 562 562 thousand that's not bad that's a good that's a good used truck uh, I did watch a few of uh LRM's videos on YouTube and everything, so I got a good feel for the people. I even spoke to them at one point uh, through the messenger. They got right back to me, so if you reach out to them, more than likely they'll get they'll get back to you real fairly quick, which is which is a good thing. Uh, but yeah, that's about all I know about the leasing program. I don't know I don't know too much about it. I kind of looked at a couple reviews from other drivers who were actually. Uh, who are actually leasing from them, and overall, it was um, I say fair reviews overall. I didn't see a lot of bad things. It was pretty fair reviews. And for the payment options, because I know payment options make a difference for some, whether it's weekly, monthly, or whatever the case. So at LRM, they offer weekly, semi-monthly, and monthly payments. So basically, weekly. Every two weeks or monthly payments, you choose what works best for you when signing the lease. So that's pretty good. And how long is the lease agreements? The lease terms vary between 24 and 42 months, depending on the vehicle of your choice. So you can get a lease similar to what I did, as small as two years. Well, I didn't go through LRM, but you can get a lease as small as two years. I always like to tell people, uh, stick to a lease uh within a time frame that works for you. So if you know you can't afford a big payment or you can't afford to pay on a truck for like four or five years, then don't do that. Get you a truck that you could pay off in maybe two years and then later down the line, you can upgrade to the truck that you really want. So at least then you have some type of truck. Uh, that's just me. So sticking with the, the leasing, we'll shoot over to... Uh, Bulldog Truck Sales, they based out of Atlanta. And uh, now the cool thing about Bulldog Truck Sales is uh, Bulldog, they lease and also uh, sell trucks. So you can either do the lease, the in-house leasing program, or you can actually buy trucks. Just come there and buy a truck if you want to, but there is a lease purchase program at this place. So what we do, we'll click on leasing programs and see where it takes us. So it says, unlike some of our competitors, we structure our short-term leases to be successful. So that's, that's pretty good. If you have had credit problems in the past but are now stable and have a contract with a reputable carrier, we can help call or visit our facility to Call or visit our facility today so we can get you on the road to a better future. So, uh, and also one year warranty included. They come DOT ready with a one year warranty. They got late model brand name trucks. From what I was could see on the website, I seen uh, some Kenworths, some Peterbilt, some Freightliners, some Internationals. So they got some of everything. I uh, didn't see no Mack trucks on there, but, I mean, you never know. It might be on there, but I didn't see it when I was browsing the website earlier, but we could check it out. Also, if you got bad credit, it says even if you have bad credit, you may still qualify for one of our affordable truck leasing programs and financing options. So you just complete the online application, and then one of the sales members will reach out to you and go from there. So as far as the trucks, 
I'm gonna click on trucks. They got some internationals on there. Got a Kenworth, uh, Kenworth on there. Some Freightliners. Got Peterbilt on there. Another Peterbilt. Some more internationals. So let's just click international just to kind of see, get a feel for the trucks and stuff like that. All right, so it says 2014 International Cummins, 10 speed manual, 653,000 miles, 90 day engine, turbo injector, DPF, and transmission warranty. Price not really available on this one. Uh, I did see one with the price available. Let me see if I can go back to it. I'm not sure which one it is, but we can click on it and see if see if we see anything now this one this peterbilt uh peck our engine with a fresh overhaul 10 speed manual same 90 day warranty on the engine turbo injector dpf and transmission but also no price provided let's click on let's try the kenworth No price provided on this one either, but I did see one with the price on it earlier. I can't remember which one I clicked on, but I do remember. I do remember seeing one with the price on. Let's try a Freightliner. Now Freightliner, it's got four hundred sixty-six thousand miles on it. That's not bad. No, but yeah, no price is provided, so more than likely you have to call and get a price. Fill out an application and see if you get approved and go from there. I do see mostly a lot of autos on this one. I'm not seeing many manuals on it, but could be wrong. But yeah, so that one's that's basically Bulldog truck sales. All right, for the last uh, leasing one that I got on there is um, Priority Leasing. That's actually the, the one that the company that I went through, uh, well, I went through my previous company and then we went then I went through a third party lease which is priority leasing uh, that's how I found out about Bulldog leasing is because our two options were priority or Bulldog I went with uh, I went with priority and I got uh, a 2014 mid roof which is basically this one in the middle uh, now I don't know if these trucks are available now but a lot of these trucks I do remember being there uh, if I'm not mistaken, this might be my actual truck. I'm not even sure, but a lot of these trucks have been on this website for a while, so I'm not I'm not sure if, if it gets updated or anything, but a lot of these trucks were there when I was there, and I've been gone for a little while, but uh, yeah, a lot of these trucks were there when I was there. But as far as the miles, like I said, when I got my truck, it was about 640K, as far as miles and everything, uh, minor things wrong with it. So I didn't I didn't find that out until later down the line. But my first trip out the gate, I broke down. So you do you do want to make sure that you got some money put away because uh, I was on my way to Pennsylvania. Come to find out, I guess I lost a high low range on my gears and stuff. Uh, it's supposed to be a real little tiny screw that goes in there. Uh, like a, a T screw, like one of those uh, screws that you, you use to, uh, one of the T bits on it. And uh, yeah, I guess whatever was there in place of it exploded and I lost my gears uh, in Pennsylvania. And it was like a holiday weekend, so I got stuck the whole weekend just kind of sitting on the side of the road. So uh, yeah, it's best to check your truck out before you go, but... Overall, uh, the experience with priority leasing was, it was pretty good. Uh, you know, when I when I needed something, I could call, I could pick up and call, or uh, they let me know which shops were in the area where I can get a little discount if I if you know to kind of help me out or whatever. And uh, you actually get the title of your truck at the end once you do the buyout and everything. So I I got my title. Uh, it takes takes a couple weeks or whatever, you know, to 
get it in the mail or whatever, but you do get sent an actual physical title to the truck to where you own it at the end at the end of the process with priority leasing. I don't know about the rest of the companies or anything, but with priority leasing, you do get a title in the mail where you own it. You could drive around. You, you won't get no calls or nothing like that. You own the truck flat out. You could trade it in if you want to, sell it, whatever. That's after you've done the uh, the buyout and everything. All right, so I don't want to make this video too long, so let's go over to Now, if you're looking to buy a cash truck, I found this place. Uh, I found this place, Don Baskins. Now, it's not rated too good. Some of these places not rated too good, but, uh, yeah, I did find this place, Don Baskins, where you can get a bunch of cash trucks. They got a lot of cash trucks. I spoke to them a couple times because I thought about I thought about maybe selling my truck to them at one point uh, and getting me something else or maybe doing some type of trade deal or just, just looking at a second truck. Uh, so, yeah, let's click on trucks with the sleeper. And we're going to set the price range at anywhere under, let's just say, under 15000 just just to make it like a cash truck. But he's got other trucks on there. I, now, I'm not going to lie when I say those, a lot of the trucks, you know, got to be fixed up or whatever. But he's got some simple trucks on there. Like some of them run and drive. Like this one for 20 k it runs and drives and everything. It's just a little simple Mack truck. Uh, let's see. Let me set the price range. At, uh, then you got this one for 33 k fleet maintained. So some of, some of the trucks are actually fleet trucks. I guess he gets them and flips them. So we'll set the minimum. We'll say 5K to 15K. So 15, 20K. That's a good. That's a good cash truck. All right. So we got 13K. You got now some of the trucks. Like I said, non-running. He'll tell you the issue. And if you want to get it towed out of there or fix it or whatever, you can get your little cash truck and keep going. This one, this one runs great, has a few leaks, and needs a good cleaning, like a good detail in the inside. But if, if you're looking to get a little simple cash truck to get going, 15K, fix the leaks and everything, and you're, you're rolling, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's not bad, not a bad price. Got a old school Volvo on there, runs great for 14K. It's got some Kenworths with uh it's got transmission faults, some type of electrical issue, 15K. So he's got I could just scroll down and show you. Got an old Freightliner for 8K. It says the truck truck has sit for approximately eight years. The engine will turn over but not start. So he's selling it as a non-running truck. But you never know; it could be something minor. I've seen on some of some of the uh, YouTube pages, uh, some of the guys that get cash trucks or whatnot, and then they might pay for something like this, 8K, and realize it's a small minor problem, and get a truck for 8K. So you never know; you might get lucky, and it's something small, and you got a truck for 8K, and you're ready to roll. So, uh, but yeah, like I said, I've talked to him a couple times. Because I, I've been thinking about making a little trip up there and uh, just kind of look around myself. But, uh, yeah. So, here goes a little International for 13 k This one does run and drive. It's got a few oil leaks. But he's he drove it to the actual shop itself. So, for 13 k that's not bad. You fix the oil leaks and you're ready to go. Got another International. Got a Western Star. Now, I wouldn't get the Western Star because if you look... It's hanging off as some type of salvage truck, but I wouldn't get that one. But yeah, if you look, you got different trucks on there for a cash price, so ready to roll. Some some ready to roll. Got an old cab over that needs a little work for 10k. So you got different things on there. Got an old Volvo for 12.5, and it believe it or not, this truck actually runs. <laughs> So you can get a you can get a truck for uh for cash. This one starts and runs. It's seventy five hundred for eighty six old cab over restoration project. But yeah, so it's basically just me showing you how you can buy your first semi truck for little or no money. Uh, 
just kind of get in the game and get your feet wet and learn what you need to learn and then progress to your next truck. I would never start with your your absolute dream truck out the gate. Like I would never do that because you never know what's going to happen down the line. You might have an accident. You might you might not be able to pay for it. You, you know, so many variables with this owner op game. But uh, I would just start with a simple truck to get you started and then go from there and uh, just kind of get your feet wet from there and then uh, see how it goes. But, yeah, so you can check out these websites or everything if you're looking at getting a truck. And then maybe I'll do another one of these in the future. Or if you want to see a different type of video, just let me know. And then I'll see about making that type of video. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button if you enjoy it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Okay. Can't come to the trap, you making it hot. Don't for the work and it's fresh out the pot. I've been having nervous, I sleep with a chop. I get off the work and I don't need a clock. I don't need the rib, you know it's a stop. Too good on my nerves, I put it on block. If he chooses size, then he turn to a op. The trap said he jumping, we making it hot.